Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I know recently I spoke you through all about how I found my dream house on Right Move, where I'm currently living, renting, and I did a really cool video on that and you guys really enjoyed it. So I thought I would do another one, but with a little bit of a twist. This time we're not gonna be looking where I was looking previously at like Clapham and Brixton, which is where I currently live, but we're gonna be looking at Greenwich because I know a lot of you go to Greenwich University or have come across my videos because you're interested in going to the University of Greenwich which is where I personally went to I've done a lot of videos about it so I thought we could find a house together find an apartment to live together in Greenwich just in case you guys were hoping to find some room to rent or a spare room somewhere or an entire apartment to rent I thought we could go through the process together in Greenwich because a I love Greenwich but also hopefully this will be really helpful for you so I've got my trusty laptop here so I'm gonna become a little box on the screen but hopefully you can see everything I'm doing okay so like last time I've gone straight to right move not because this is sponsored or anything it's just the website I prefer using the most and I find the most easiest to use so hopefully you will too but there are loads of different options out there you have like Zoopla I think there's sparerooms.com or something where you can find literally just like a room in a house if that's what you're looking for but let's get started by typing in Greenwich South East London to rent I doubt you'll be buying first year of uni. So we've currently got this area only price range. Now if we're thinking of perhaps doing like a room share or having multiple people in an apartment, I'm gonna say you'd be looking at like 650 maybe, hopefully, somewhere around there. So I'm gonna put 1,300 in there and we'll do room shares or flat shares and apartments with like renting with two people so minimum bedroom one maximum well leave maximum clean just in case there is a three bedroom i doubt it's gonna happen but you never know you can never be too picky <laughs> let's stick with any property type buying properties and then this is obviously where we go through all the filters again to like narrow it down a bit more so here in the map i think that's a pretty good area so greenwich uni is right about here by the dlr um, so I think from all of those places, at least towards like the west side of Greenwich, you could definitely walk um, in terms of like north Greenwich, you'd probably have to get a bus, but it's not that difficult to get to. So I'm quite happy with that map. So we'll stick with that. So at the moment we have 94 results, but I'm just going to go into property type and filters and kind of narrow that down a bit. So it's unlikely that you're going to have furniture first year. So I'm going to click furnish and in terms of houses we want student halls. So you're going to let me click it, student halls, flat, terraced, semi-detached, detached, student halls, done. And then if we click on filters we don't want any retirement homes, must-haves, I'm going to leave clear because i don't know if you necessarily want a garden in first year it's always nice to have a garden i love having a garden in london but it makes it a lot harder to try and find somewhere okay and then the next thing i like to get, do is go through all of them so right now we do have 60 results so i probably won't go through every single one but i just like to click the ones that look interesting to me and whatever i click may be different from you depending on like what kind of style you like in terms of your houses whether you want a big kitchen whether you want a big lounge all of those kind of things but i really like that you can just kind of click through the photos in kind of a preview function okay so this is a flat share the building looks pretty nice it's got a lot of amenities oh i love it when they have the floor plan on there uh, yeah that looks pretty good 595 isn't bad either so we'll open that in a new tab i always like to proof them open them in a new tab and then go through really closely to see like how far away it is from things get a better idea of like the utilities and bills and everything like that see this is a one bedroom house share for 1200 a month i do not think so sir oh that is tiny so i'm gonna skip on that one just because i me personally i would like to have a double bed so i'm going to skip that one because the rooms could only fit in singles it's very nice but it's 800 pounds a month which is a little out of my budget so i'm going to skip on that one obviously if your budget is higher than mine you'll have more options but i'm just trying to stick to a realistic like university budget 
This is cute. Oh, it's a bit more expensive, 745. I'll open it as an option, but like I said, that is kind of out of my budget. Okay, and then that's us done. So I went through those pretty quickly, but a lot of them were just one bedroom apartments for like £1,200 a month, which is not what we're looking for. So out of those 70, 60 options, I now have five properties to look through. So it's really easy to like narrow down your options quite significantly. And obviously properties come and go in London so quickly. So check like every day, if not every three days, or at least once a week to kind of see what new properties have popped up or if any have been reduced okay so this was our first one it's 595 pound a month and it looks like in pretty good condition let's zoom in on the photos so it's got a really great living space with lots of natural light it looks like this is like a balcony set of doors good bathroom now this is the bedroom it does look quite small in terms of like i reckon you could get a double in there but not much else so it would have to depend on whether you would want a desk in there or whether you're doing what you're studying in the library and you don't mind like working from your bed or just maybe getting in there organizing and viewing and seeing how the space looks in real per in real life because sometimes it's quite hard to gauge dimensions and sizing from like a photo on the internet cute kitchen like very university appropriate it looks like cool and then if we go into like the location and a little bit of reading about it oh it does say it's a double room with a private bathroom which is a huge selling point because obviously in a shared accommodation you don't always know who you're going to be sharing with so sometimes you may not feel comfortable sharing a bathroom so this one has a private bathroom which is great it does have a balcony off the lounge it has a 24-hour concierge private residence gym and swimming pool <laughs> if you're interested in that wow so if we zoom out a little bit open map just because i want to see the location it is from the university so it is in deptford so if i zoom in a little bit the university is around here by greenwich market so you would probably need to, to like cycle in or maybe get a bus um because i don't think that was like in walking distance unless you have like a spare half an hour to spend on walking to and from uni but that looks like a pretty good option i would be really interested to see what the local area is like because for me personally that's always a huge selling point in terms of how close is like the local shops or to walk to the park it looked like it was quite close to the river because you're obviously in deptford bridge um so all of those kind of things and just whether it feels like a safe neighborhood is always really important to me as well then this is our next option this is a two bedroom apartment so this would be if perhaps you and a friend are looking to move in together for uni um and it would be 650 pounds a month each now obviously it's always difficult because you may not always love the furniture in there or like the colour of the walls and whatever but usually it's very temporary in university so you'll probably only be there for like 9 to 12 months if that so you have to kind of bear that in mind like this is not going to be your forever home so keep, keep that in the back of your mind when you look at some of these photos but again it's got a huge living space, a balcony, very cute kitchen a little bit bigger than the last one which is nice big bedrooms and easily fit a double and perhaps even a desk in there which is great and the bathroom is really nice it looks like quite well done quite new that's very cute right let's read about it two double bedrooms modern one bathroom so you would be sharing a bathroom and they do have sh shard <laughs> shared parking spaces if one of you is for whatever reason bringing a car you don't need to bring your car to the university of greenwich i definitely didn't especially if you're living in halls you don't really need a car because everything's kind of within walking distance or right there i do currently have a car in london now just because i drive to and from like the local grocery store and also i drive back to bournemouth with my boyfriend every now and then to see our family so we now have a car here we pay for a parking permit but it's definitely like not a necessity living in london obviously and this is definitely in a walking distance from the university and why i can say that is because i lived in student accommodation at the mcmillan student village which is literally like opposite the road from this i'm pretty sure um and it's about a 15 minute walk so i think that's a really great option honestly i don't think it says like no students or anything so you'd definitely be able to like have a look around with your friend whoever you're renting with and it looks like a pretty good size to be honest so also a very good area because i've lived there <laughs> okay so we're on to another one bedroom house share this has photos from christmas for some reason 650 pound a month like the last one was um how many let's see students can inquire so it's not necessarily saying it's student friendly but you're welcome to kind of call and see greenwich park is an eight minute walk away which is amazing 
price is inclusive of bills so it's even cheaper than the last one because you've got all of your bills like electricity council or you don't pay council taxes you know but electricity water gas everything in there minimum tenancy of six months which is great if you're a student because sometimes your term for uni is only six months so you don't need the full year property has parking and garden access and a fireplace taking all the boxes for me there honestly so let's have a look at the photos very cute little living space i like how it's like wooden floors and just blank walls for me personally that works a lot better because you can really make it your own which i always love doing in uni because it's like a home away from home you know you need it to feel cozy there's a little garden which will be so nice to have like barbecues and stuff in in the summer it's a pretty decent size oh and they do have a video for you to look through the living room's a little dark it may just be like the day or time of day it was taken on um and it is furnished and i'm not 100 percent sure about this furniture but like they've done they've covered it in blankets so you could definitely do that to like make it fit your aesthetic a little better really decent sized kitchen though with a like good living space and dining room table and things like that which is always great and very nice bathroom and it's got a separate shower which is nice as well and decent sized bedrooms like pretty good amazing so that's definitely an option i would definitely love to look around that i'm not sure if we saw a map oh yeah here's the map okay so on the map the university is here so i'd say that's about like a 12 minute walk i used to live up this road so it's probably like similar distances from there and that was like a 12 15 minute walk okay and then this is the one a bit out of our budget but sometimes it's nice to look especially if you guys have a higher budget i don't want to feel like i'm limiting you by only showing you the like 650 pound ones so if you do have a bit more money to spend on your rent 745 is not a bad number to be looking at i know a lot of people who currently pay that um and this looks like a really nice space it is a house share i believe so like great size bedroom a lot of space for like a desk and everything like that double bed great kitchen looks really modern and a lot of space so i don't know if that's the hallway perhaps if it's like multi-level <gasps> look at that bathtub i'm a sucker for a bathtub that is a nice bath i think we're back at the beginning okay so i don't think that was a picture of a communal living area yeah there's no photo of like a lounge or anything so that's kind of interesting so let's have a read fully furnished central heating greenwich center there's a weekly cleaner for communal areas and it's close to the station it's a double room so it's a four bedroom apartment in west greenwich and bills are included which again makes the price a lot more reasonable because if you're paying 650 for a place your bills likely on top of that will be like 50 75 pounds something like that so you're already getting close to the, like the 700 mark so 745 definitely isn't bad okay so it doesn't say anything like about a living area or a living room or anything like that so i would definitely want to like go in and see the space potentially meet the other people that currently live there just to see kind of what the vibes are like and whether it's very social or anything like that but obviously if that's not important to you and you literally just want a room in a house it looks like a pretty good option it is a little further away so again i'd say this was like a 25 minute maybe 30 minute no probably 25 minute walk which again isn't too bad um and you're right next to greenwich station as well so you can get to a lot of different places if you need to and then i believe we have one option left which is 550 pound a month which is way cheaper and again it's a house share so let's look at the photos sorry if you can hear <laughs> children screaming outside um so it's again a double room really good light great bathroom really modern a garden i love having a garden so much i think it's really like invaluable especially when you're having like uni friends around and stuff it's nice to have a barbecue or pre-drinks outside or what have you kitchen is bright yellow again university is temporary don't take it to heart too much but that is like pretty garish <laughs> oh i think i actually know where these buildings are so you're obviously in a block of flats, so you may have some additional noise and everything like that, just things to consider. I would definitely want to like walk up and down the streets at like different times of the day to see like how many people are around and what's kind of, what the vibe is, you know, what kind of noise is coming from there, what kind of people hang out there. Okay, so it's shared with only one other per person. All bills are included. This is very cheap. That's a really, really good deal. Eight minute walk to the shopping center and local amenities, close to local amenities. 
let's open this map to see how far we are away from the uni okay so it's very similar to the last one you've got tesco superstore right there to do all your shopping um and it looks like it's like a 25 minute maybe 30 minute um walk to uni which is not bad at all and you're right next to lewisham like stations so you can get to a lot of different places as well if you're like traveling into london because they have like the dlr straight to bank and things like that but yeah they are all our options as you can see a lot of them vary and it's really difficult knowing what you're going to get whether you're going to pay a really cheap price for a pretty good deal with like bills included and have to walk a little bit further to uni or whether you're going to be like right on the doorstep and have to pay a little bit more but depending on whatever's most important to you i think it's always really important to factor in like travel costs like if you're paying every day for a bus or the dlr to get into uni because you live a little bit further away figure out how much that's going to cost you each month and then add that on to your rent because if you live right on the doorstep you can save yourself some money and put that money towards rent to pay that little bit higher and you're not actually missing out like you're spending the same that you would if you live further away just moving your travel expenses to your rent expenses but yeah they are all the flats that we found in greenwich i hope you liked some of them i definitely did whenever there's a garden i'm a little bit sold it just takes something it takes my heart with it you know so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful definitely let me know if you're planning to move to greenwich or head to university of greenwich very soon because i'm a fellow university of greenwich gal so i'd love to I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe down below because I make a new video every Sunday. Bye.